What is up, risk takers? Welcome to the Kill Pete strategy. I am Pete. I am a top 10 player playing Risk Global Domination on PC. I have a daily release schedule on YouTube. I do a fixed game on Fridays. I do the be Waiting on Your Best Behavior podcast on Wednesdays and every other day I do whatever I feel like. And today we are doing a practice game for the Summer Free For All Risk Discord Tournament Finals. I'm in the first position, so I have to act. I have Occupation Australia, which I think I might go for. The occupation here. Yeah, the Australia play is the play that makes the most sense. I'm going to put five troops on that, too, and I'm going to see how far I can extend this stack into the North Island. Looks like I make it. Good. So I have all but one of Australia on the first turn. Make it very clear what I'm doing. Uh, signaling to my opponents that I'm trying to take the Australia continent. In the second position, we've the real deal uh, tournament finalists from last season. Seven, 1,765 hours, almost 5,000 games, 1,917 wins, and 2,753 losses. Great player, um, multi tournament finalist last season as well. In the third position, we've Kilted. And Kilted flying the flag of Canada. 158 hours played with 702 wins and 40 losses. Kilted has the highest points in the tournament at 119. An absolutely dominant performance. Very impressive to see. And a friend of mine. Looks like Kilted will be going for the Southern Africa play. What he is thinking, thinking. Maybe trust to be good neighbors with me here. No, he's going for the Africa play. The North, maybe the North Africa play? Oh, he wants both. Greedy. So in my opinion, this might have been a mistake. One of the things I like to do in a pinch is run through a string of singles on the first turn with an eye to taking a continent. In the fourth position, we have Legatus flying the flag of Hungary with 168 hours played with 297 wins and 145 losses. Legatus looks like he's taking Canada. He does part of what I... Just suggests it takes two singles in a row, tries to spend out that three. I don't know if that made a ton of sense. In the fifth position, we have Cherry. And Cherry, Discord mod, two-time back-to-back tournament finalist, 809 hours played with 346 wins and 144 losses. Cherry is a great risk player. Make it to the finals twice back-to-back. -back. It's a single take. Looks like Cherry is trying to occupy the Pacific Ring, and in the final position we have Lithium Snake from the United Kingdom with 280 hours played and 231 wins to 188 losses. So, settings for this tournament final are, uh, map is Earth 2209, World Domination, Progressive Cards, Auto Setup, 60 Second Turns, No Fog, No Blizzard, No Alliances, and Balance Blitz Dice. Lithium knows this Tuesday is numbered. I'm going to try and roll. Thinking about rolling. Two on one doesn't. All right, I get an easy take finish, Australia. That's all I have to do on my turn. Looks like I didn't do so well with the roll, but I don't think Cherry's going to antagonize me here, and I don't know what Dereal is thinking there. So, we're going to hold at that. So I get the first continent. There is an upside to going last, there's an upside to going first. Oceania is worth plus five. Here's the continents on 2209. You have Western Arctic worth plus four, North America worth plus four, Northern Europe worth plus four. You also have four continents worth plus seven. South America, mainland Europe, Russia, and Western Asia. Both halves of Africa, each worth plus six, and Eastern Asia is worth plus nine, if you can hold it. Looks like the real deal taking over most of mainland Europe. I believe I'm going to be the only player to finish a continent turn one. The real not breaking me is a good sign. I don't think Cherry will either. Kilted moves to take Southern Africa, which, in my opinion, he should have just done on his first turn and stacked it up such that he could have finished. Um, of course, this is a self-fulfilling prophecy, but my intuition tells me, <clears throat> knowing what I know, of Grandmasters that they will default to being good neighbors and I figure the finals game will go players take their continent and hold it generally 
and then we'll go through the first match, probably the first second match before someone dies. Legatus finishes a continent as well on his second turn, so he's going to get the plus four, and he, he guards with a large stack exterior to it. For Cherry's second turn, she might put a stack here and expand into these two territories which are part of Eastern Asia. Don't think Cherry wants to be too, too threatening to me. I currently hold 16 territories. So the other way to play 2209, if you're not going to take continents, is to go for the territory bonus. I'm going to say thanks to both her and Daryl for not breaking me. Is to go for the territory bonus. And the territory bonus is you uh, get three, uh, you get one extra troop for each three territories you control and risk. Um, this map is 86 territories, so you can potentially hold enough of the board uh, to occupy and get more troops just that way without holding continents. Yeah, not looking good for Lithium. Yeah, he thinks he's dead. Well, he's not in a great spot, but he is in multiple positions, which is a good sign. Now, let's see. I hold a continent, so there's two ways I could play this. The way I'm going to play it is I'm going to do a really, really weak guard on Oceania. But I'm going to be a greedy fuck, and I'm going to take second continent. And now what we do is we see who breaks me. So I'm holding Central Asia, which is separated from... Yeah, yeah, laugh it up, exactly. But who is going to piss me off? So now I have two separated positions, so I'm in a really strong way. Um... Someone breaks me, I can retaliate at them. The real deal probably takes Europe now. Breaks me? I, I wouldn't if I was him, right? Yeah, see, this ensures that I let him guard Europe. So the real takes his first continent on the third turn. I've already taken two. And he does the same thing to me. Threat stacks. Okay, so Kilted probably should finish now. But he still doesn't have a continent. This is bad for Kilted. Legatus uh, gets to hold a continent. Let's see what he does. My intuition tells me he's going to go for more of the Americas. Right. This is bad for Lithium. Cherry's crying. Because Cherry didn't aggressively take a continent turn one either. So the situation is such that either I make a preemptive strike on the goddess or... I allow him and I to expand and essentially capture the rest of the map. What makes more sense? Let's see what Cherry does. Cherry's trying to take Asia. Yeah, it goes pop pop, I'm guessing, or breaks me. But I don't think so. I don't think it would make sense. I'm gonna hit I would hit New Guinea if I was Cherry and move out if I'm trying to occupy this. Okay. Right. So she's one turn away from taking. Does Lithium break me? I think he's... That might be what that's for. He's going to break Legatus as well. Yes. He's going to break Legatus as well. Okay. Let's us... Oh. He hurts Legatus more than he hurts me. Sure. Well, good. And Daryl holds a continent too. Let's see what we do with that. I don't have to do much. I think I retake and I guard here. With a single troop on North Island, I'll put three. In Western Australia, I'll put a single here. I'll just retake from Lithium. So now what I've done is I've kind of locked in my bonus. At the me. Kind of locked him up. I know Cherry's going to try to take that, so I'm not trying to sit here. I'm going to sit here. You're welcome. Um, I'm going to sit here um, in between Daryl and where Cher where I expect Cherry to go now. Daryl's going to take a second continent. I'm going to take Northern Europe. Legatus is going to reclaim North America. And for all of his efforts, Lithium has shrunk even more. Right. Does Kilted finish Southern Africa? Yes. 
So here we have good neighbors. And this is what my intuition told me grandmasters would default to. I figured it would happen a bit quicker than it did. Legatus, retake, retake, I'm guessing. On my next turn, I can skip if I'm holding even one of my two continents. And then I would put myself at the end of the matching sequence, hopefully. Um, that the, the, the reason you skip, so the progressive cards, the reason you might want to skip progressive cards, go 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, and 15. I'd much rather get the 15 than the 4. So if I skip my next take, I don't get a card that turn. It puts me at the end of the matching sequence, assuming that nobody else skips. The other way to think about it is, if I'm holding these continents, I'll get a ton of troops. And that way I can afford to skip because, oh yeah, and Cherry does get, except for that one, roll three on one, I'm guessing. She's one away. Do you finish? Cherry's thinking about breaking me, maybe? Thinking about finishing her continent. Yep. I'm fine with that. I'm fine with not defending these. Yeah, and lithium loses out in the exchange. Doesn't have the juice to break anybody now. Let's see, maybe I skip a card. It puts the real at the beginning of the uh, matching sequence, but I think the real. and nine stacks. So I have a, uh, I have a ten stack in Asia. I have a ten stack in North Island. I have a nine stack in Australia. I have a nine stack in um, Central Asia. And this is fine by me. I don't need cards yet. Let the weak take the cards and deal with the early matches. Kilted is weak, but he's going to get the plus six from South Africa. Daryl is now thinking about skipping. If I was him, I would. Real gets a card, which likely means I'm now at the end of the matching sequence. So I, I get to hold two continents, we hope. And I get the big match, because as you guys know, I'm a greedy fuck. Uh, here we are. I like my game so far a lot. Kilt is thinking about what to do, because he is so far behind from not taking a continent early enough. I don't know if the GM's expected the game to shake out like this. No, Kilted matches early. What's the play here? Is he going to take Lithium out of this pocket? Feeding Lithium potentially to Legatus. Okay, Kilted matches and skips. That doesn't make any sense to me. I wonder what his plan is. He doesn't want to be the fish. Ooh. Okay. Don't think that works. If Kilted wins this game, I will be very surprised. Maybe he's just trying to not set himself up as the fish. Oh, hi, Reg. Do you want to help the people? All right, so what do you think of the tournament final settings? Do you think they are as delicious as all this meat. Look at all the meat in your belly. Good boy. Hi. All right, Cherry gets 13 troops for holding that big juicy continent. And matches early. Okay, this is all strange to me.
lithium doesn't match now, I can probably eat him. He does. Gets the eight. So I can move out from North Island to Chile, and that keeps my guard and my positioning exactly the same. I'll get one take. This is exactly what I expected to happen, with the exception of uh, what Lithium do, did, which was not take a continent. Okay, breaks Legatus. <laughs> sure. Oh, he takes a continent for himself, and he breaks Legatus again. Poor Legatus, okay. Well, my lead just expands from here. Someone should probably do something about this. So now I am in the exact same position as I was before, but all of my stacks are larger. And I have that one point guard in Chile. So, I get the biggest match with an eye to eat lithium on my next turn. Hey, look at that. Daryl has 69 troops. <laughs> Is he gonna go for lithium? There is a 50 stack pointed into Russia, or into me, Kilted Skipping. All right, so Kilted's toast. He gave up trying to win, and he's hoping now to win by someone else making a mistake. He's not the weakest player Lithium is. Cherry will catch up soon from holding a plus nine. Yeah, looks like Legatus might be going for the kill on Lithium now, and it looks like he might have it. Problem with that is, Legatus will be holding five cards. Can I kill Legatus? Let's see. So he's going to sweep around and kill Lithium this way. How many troops do I have to push through? I'll be getting the plus 15, I'm getting the biggest match. I think I kill Legatus, take five cards. I think this is the mistake. So Legatus can kill Lithium. Yeah, Kilted says oops, because Kilted knows I'm going to kill him. Because I can. So, I, I think I can relatively easily. Okay, Cherry gets plus 13. I get the 15 match. Kilted says good game. Yeah, I don't know, man. I don't know. 41 troops? I think I got Legatus. Maybe my continents get broken and then I don't. Maybe Cherry blocks me here. No, neither of those things occur. I kill the goddess. Five cards. And I can go back to my original positioning, or what I think makes more sense now is the good neighbor theory goes straight to hell. not expecting hold continents anymore. There are three players remaining. I'm going to have five cards at the end of my turn. I'm also going to have half the board. 
Kilted only is one card. I think Kilted is the next fish. Nobody has bonus. And I don't think anyone's going to hold bonus for the rest of the game. The real deal has a 78 stack. And he's going to punch me pretty hard. Match point is 30. I have two jokers. Look at that. Does he kill Cherry? Looks like he might be trying. Yeah, it looks like, it looks like the real deal is going for Cherry. Okay. That is good for me. That means I will still control most of the board. He's also going to have to move faster than that. Otherwise, Kilted gets the kill on Cherry. Still wouldn't be enough to trade in on turn, which is why I think Kilted skipping cards was an absolute mistake. The reels pathing is bad, which is going to cost him troops. He still gets there just in the nick of time. Doesn't match in turn. Could be holding four cards in the end game. I eat the reel, and then I eat Kilted. And that's the game. Unless Kilted can punch me hard enough that I can't eat the reel. He doesn't. Okay. That is it fairly easy win for me. It's close though. I still have that 23 stack. Does that help me? Oh, it is close, guys. Woo -hoo -hoo! Is that ever close? There you go. Good game, everybody. Well, that worked out about as well as I could have hoped. Tilted gets second for skipping. Three on 22. We got him. And that's the game. Okay, so I feel like publishing this um, will be a bit of a self fulfilling prophecy because my predictions uh, came true. Doesn't mean that's the way this game is going to go, but this game went close to how I expected it to go. The reason it didn't go exactly the way I expected is because Lithium didn't take a continent early enough, which means that he got eaten, and then once the kills occurred earlier, um, I was able to just completely snowball. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I wish the best of luck to those still alive in the tournament. Three of the tournament finalists, Kilted Legatus and Lithium Snake, or sorry, Kilted Legatus and Cherry, are in the finals. And I wish them best of luck as well, Raleigh, as well, um, Marin and Cosmic Cowboy. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you're interested in getting better at the game of Risk, I invite you to subscribe to my channel and come along this ride with me. I have a fixed game I do every Friday. I do the podcast waiting on your best behavior on Wednesdays and every other day. I do whatever I feel like. And until next time, for all of you on the path to world domination, good games and good luck.